Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I want to explain and walk you through the process that I follow to create a podcast episode. And this is a process that I've followed over 245 times now because today I just recorded my 245th episode of the Paul Miners podcast. And so I'm going to walk you through the process that I follow to plan, produce, create and distribute each episode. Now, it's really an explanation of the entire process. If you are looking for a more of a getting started with podcasts uh, guide, that is not in this video. This is more a look at my process and how I've refined the process down to the point where I can produce a podcast episode in around 30 minutes. And I'll be explaining that today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I actually start my podcasting process here in Asana. Asana is the tool that I use to plan the content that I'm creating. So here I have this content project. I've got uh, things like this blog post slash podcast uh, planned. I've got videos like this, you know, the video that I'm working on right now. This is the project where I'm planning basically any content that I need to produce. Now, one of the things in Asana that really helps me with this is I can set up what's called a task template. So now I cheat a little bit. I uh, don't just sit down and start recording my podcast. I actually write a blog post first because some people like reading, other people like listening. So I actually write a blog post and the podcasts that I create are the spoken form of that blog post. And that's one of the ways that I can get this process down to be really efficient is that I've already done most of the work to write the blog post and creating the podcast is just a small additional step. So in Asana, I have this task template that I use to create a blog post where I have to write it, I record the podcast, there's a bit of a checklist of some other things that I need to do, including some action items for my virtual assistant. So when I have an idea for an episode, I will start a new task using this template and I can say here, you know, how to create a podcast. And so I'll simply start that task, I'll put in the episode number here and then I can start working from this checklist to create my episode. Now, here's an example of the episode that I created today. You'll see in the description here, this is now sort of pre-production stage or pre-blog post stage even. I use the description to plan out the bullet points of the kinds of things I want to talk about in that blog post slash podcast. So it's really just to kind of guide my thinking and it's a bit of a checklist of what I want to cover. So I kind of do the planning here in Asana. Once I am then ready to start writing, I use an app called Ulysses to actually do the writing. This is a writing app on the Mac. Um, and I just, it's a very simple writing app that lets me write in Markdown, which are these little hashtags and things here. And this just makes uploading to WordPress really quick and simple. So it's a nice, just simple, very sort of minimal focused writing app. And I can write out exactly, uh, I just write my blog post. So that's all done in Ulysses. Now I've actually connected Ulysses with my WordPress website. So when I'm ready to publish, I can come, I can click the publish button and I, you can see here I've actually scheduled a date when this needs to be sent or, or published rather. I've linked the, or, or specified the category and tags in WordPress that I want this, uh, this blog post to be highlighted under. And I can even change the slug, the URL there as well. And then so I can, I can publish that and I can upload that to WordPress. So I have the blog ready. The next step is to start recording. And for that, I do that in GarageBand. GarageBand is the free sort of audio editing app on the Mac. Um, I don't use anything super fancy. I'm not a great audiophile kind of person. I just need something pretty simple and GarageBand uh, does exactly that. So what I do actually is um, to get an episode ready to record is in the finder, I simply duplicate the previous week's folder. So when I'm ready to do episode 246, I will copy this folder and paste it. And so this is just gonna copy the GarageBand file from the previous week because I want to reuse the introduction and the outro. I then simply rename the folder with just the new episode number. And let's open that. I'll delete the uh, the previous track that I, I was from the previous episode. I don't need that. And then I just simply rename the GarageBand file to the new file. Um, so I'll just give that the episode name. 
So then once I open that, I've basically got the previous episode in front of me. This is the last episode that I made. And so what I would do is I would delete my intro and the main um, kind of body of the podcast. So then I'm just left with the introductory music, that's this track here, and the intro voiceover. This is basically just a person, he's saying, uh, hello and welcome to the Paul Miners podcast, um, where we talk about blah, 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 blah. And I actually got this voiceover on Fiverr. If you go to fiverr.com, I just typed in um, voiceover artist, and you can sample and listen to different people who do voiceover work. I found someone with a voice that I like, and I said, hey, can you make me a podcast intro? I can't remember how much I paid, but it was very affordable to get a really simple podcast intro made. I've then, then laid that over on top of this uh, music. This was just actually a track of some, some music that I actually quite liked from a small band. And I actually just reached out to the artist and said, hey, can I use your track in my um, podcast intro? And they said, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Just please give us credit in your notes, in your show notes, which is exactly what I've done. You can find royalty-free music. There's lots of sites where you can find copyright royalty-free music as well. Whatever you do, just make sure that you've got permission to use that track. So now I'm ready to record. I've got the um, intro voice over there. I've got the intro track ready. I then actually do a little intro at the start, so I'm ready to record in here. I can click record, and then I would simply say, this is episode 245, email etiquette. The voiceover kicks in, and then once the voiceover is ended, I click record again, and now I'm going into my actual podcast episode. And for that, I will often just read from my blog post or from the Ulysses notes, and I don't always read it word for word, I mean, I generally stick pretty much to the script, but I try and make it sound natural as well. So sometimes I'll go off topic or I'll add extra points as well. But the blog post, which I've written and edited, um, usually it's, uh, I think it's well written. So it allows me to communicate in a very clear way. I'm not adding extra fluff than, than, I, than I need to. Um, so I usually just read, read the notes in a very sort of natural way. And then once I'm done, I will stop recording. And then usually, I have an outro back here. I'll simply put the outro on the end of my episode. You know, I'm doing this, I'm rushing this just for demo purposes, but I'll put the outro on the end. And then that is my very simple editing process done. So the most time consuming part of producing my episode is actually just vocally recording it. Usually my episodes are between 10 to 20 minutes. So that's the most time intensive part. Simply everything else is pretty quick, duplicating the file and getting it ready. In terms of how I record, I'm actually using the Rode NT USB mini microphone. I actually, I plug my headphones in the back so I can be, um, I can actually hear feedback while I'm talking as well. And it's just a really simple mic that I use daily for Zoom calls. I'm using it to record this video right now and it's great for the podcast setup. So really sort of minimal mic that produces great quality. I think Rode's a great brand. Um, you, can, you can spend lots of money when it comes to podcasting, but I've gone with a very simple, uh, simple setup. So once the episode is done, I will then simp simply export this and I will save the file to, uh, to my computer. Then I jump back into Asana, and I usually assign a task to my virtual assistant. I will upload the, um, the audio track to the task, so she can then upload that to our uh, podcast host. I'll also include in the task description the episode summary and episode notes or description. I actually just realized I've forgotten the uh, um, link in here. There we go. So then Judy can go ahead. She can upload this to my host. She's got the description and everything ready to go. In terms of hosting, uh, I've recently switched to Simplecast. And so this is where we host all of the podcast episodes. And uh, if I go to my blog, um, it's got a really nice embed option as well. So if I go to one of my recent blog posts here, uh, you can see the Simplecast player really nice kind of clean design. I can speed this up if I want to. And uh, so people have the choice of um, listening to this on the web if they choose to. But Simplecast is really nice, uh, not only for embedding it on your site, they handle all the distribution to things like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Overcast, and the main um, kind of distribution platforms. Pricing is pretty affordable as well. I think I'm on the basic, but I expect I may have to upgrade to Essential based on the number of downloads that I get. So for th even at $35 a month, I find this very affordable, very reasonable for a really good 
clean, simple podcast hosting platform. And so once the podcast has been uploaded to Simplecast and to WordPress, we basically schedule both the podcast episode and the blog post to be published at the same time. So usually we do that on a Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. or sorry, Monday morning at 8 a.m. New Zealand time uh, the following week. So both the uh, at 8 a.m. the blog post and the um, episode both go live. We just Im uh, embed the uh, Simplecast player in here ahead of time and then everything gets pushed out ready to go. And so that's an explanation of my podcast production workflow. Because I've already done all the heavy lifting to write a blog post, I think that is the mo the hardest part, quite frankly, about producing the podcast is coming up with an idea and writing everything down in a really sort of concise, easy to explain way. And because I'm doing that for my blog post anyway, turning it into a podcast is not a lot of extra work. As I said, I just duplicate the previous file, turn on the microphone, record for about 10 to 20 minutes, and then Judy, my virtual assistant, handles the rest. She uploads it and gets it all good to go. So it's really not a lot of extra work to produce a podcast. So I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.